All right, have a fun one today, and I'm going to be showing you Atari Mania. And this is developed by Logica Studios, and it's coming out October 13th, and it's going to be $24.99 on Switch, Steam, Epic Game Store, and Atari VCS. There also is a physical release on Limited Run Games, and it includes the soundtrack, I do believe, and so that's on pre-order October 11th. And so there's a couple different uh, visual options. There's a fisheye effect and a CRT effect. They're pretty minimal. And so I'm just gonna keep those off to show the clarity of this game. And this is pretty fun. It definitely has that WarioWare uh, kind of feel to it. It's got 150 micro games that you can play and unlock. I'm gonna show that. And you can collect cover art from classic 2600 games as well as manuals. Thought that was pretty cool that they have that feature in this game. Um, definitely would have liked to see the actual Atari games included. But understand that's uh, definitely going to be honored in a separate game release this year. Atari's 50th anniversary collection. And so here we go. It's kind of a cool story. You are a caretaker of an Atari museum. Um, really neat. I like the music. The soundtrack to this game is excellent. Um, this is my kind of my first experience with this game. I've played it since then. I'm not going to show too much. I'm not going to show all the puzzles and everything to uncover in this game. Just the first 20 minutes um, as there's, there's a lot here. And I think there's a lot here to appreciate, especially if you grew up with Atari. It's a re-imaging uh, of some classic Atari games and a mishmash of gameplay features. Pretty sweet. So you're a caretaker and you're noticing uh, you know, a mess on the ground and so you have to sweep it up. And so aside from the mini games in this experience, it, it is a puzzle game. It's a puzzle adventure game. You have to figure things out. Pretty tricky puzzles too. I'm currently kind of stumped on one about uh, about a third of the way into the game and so uh, definitely it's it's a game where you have to use your wit and figure things out there's lots of different things it doesn't hold your hand you have to uh, explore and uncover how to solve puzzles on your own and so yes there's several characters from iconic atari games uh, really really need to to see that and I think they did a good job with, with honoring the history of Atari. So you're going around, you're, you're, you're checking things out here. But yeah, you know, I think this game's kind of flying underneath the radar. And I think there's going to be a lot of people who are going to enjoy it. And so I'm trying to look around here, uh, just getting used to the gameplay mechanics. So that's a dead pixel. And uh, there's certain areas that are blocked off that you have to uh, discover later. Using your broom, you, you sweep up these piles. There's an arcade machine right there. I'll get to that in a minute. And so right now you're trying to locate Millie. And so just exploring around a lot to look at here. There's just things everywhere to explore and you need the right tools to unlock the next steps in this game. And so uh, as you progress, you get different tools and things. This is a cool room. I definitely wanted to go up and, and play games on the uh, arcade machines, but they're just there for looks. So I'm gonna go over here, get this. You unlock cover art from classic Atari 2600 games, Millipede, such a great game. Great cover art too. So that's kind of cool, cool unlockables. So down there, okay, yep. Yeah. So going down here, Yes, there's definitely something underneath that stone there. 
But I'm going to go here. Okay, there's the arcade machine. So I'm just exploring things for the first time. Again, I've played it since then, but I wanted to just kind of show you just different things to unlock and discover in this game. It does have a, a linear progression in some ways, but other ways you can do things out of order, but you need certain items to progress. And uh, it's it's gonna take a bit. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't just outwardly show you everything what you need to do. You need to discover things yourself but what I'm about ready to show you is the first, uh, the first mini games in this, and uh, first boss fight. So it takes that bug spray, which you then need to get back. So then, it takes a combination of like four games and mashes them together into new experiences. So these little micro games that you're playing, the first one's Pong. That's cool. Got an old school look there. So some games you just have to survive a certain amount of seconds. Others you have to go from point A to point B. This one you just have to uh, uh, line up, uh, an up to an icon. Uh, other ones, you have to destroy things. But as you progress, so when you fight a boss, there's 10 levels. But each each uh, stage or each um, encounter actually has variables. So the, you won't get the same 10 micro games every time. You'll get different ones. And so um, the arcade machine near each of these encounters has the ability to offer all 20 or uh, all 20 different levels uh, where you can unlock and play but you have to play them in a in a series so you know you have a you so many times you can mess up and um, to, to get through all 10 levels for the boss encounters and 20 so I failed there so it takes one of the chances away but I still can progress in this so pretty cool so it mashes classic Atari games together. This is Pong and uh, Millipede. Oh! The gameplay varies from minigame to minigame. So some games play better than others. The arrow there was showing you that you're controlling the, the spider and not, and, and not the normal character that you would control. And so it's uh, some of these are pretty challenging. But uh, you have endless tries to get through. You just have to try it again if you fail. Um, I, there were several of these that I didn't pass on the first time. So it takes it takes several encounters sometimes to, to pass these. But uh, you know, you keep playing it, you'll 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 get it. So here you have to go over. Grab the candle here. Avoid everything. Just take your time, be patient. Don't try to rush on these ones in particular here as uh, it can be pretty tricky. You go back to the floor. There's four floors, I do believe. I'm show, showing you mostly the first floor um, and a, a little bit of the second floor, but there's definitely a lot to this. And you have to go back and forth to floors sometimes to unlock things. So I've enjoyed it so far. I've um, it definitely is uh, makes you think. It makes you have to just figure out puzzles. 
there's a couple puzzles that uh, definitely had me stumped for a bit and I'm currently stuck on one but yes um, definitely I'm curious to see uh, how to get through these this is a pretty straightforward one um, you get this bug spray and you use it up here to progress So I'm just trying to talk to characters, you go up here, and there's the arcade machine, and you can play it, and if you progress successfully through all 20 levels, not failing a certain amount of times, you, uh, like here, so I you know, get through, I didn't, I'm not going to show you all the levels, I want you to kind of be able to progress through there, uh, and, and, and discover those yourself. You then, uh, and then it shows a different screen on your arcade machine when you successfully get through all 20 levels right there. You get like a star. So that's cool. So then you can go and play them at any time. Pretty sweet. So I'm going back here. And I know there's something probably underneath that stone in the bottom left hand corner. But I need something to get it. And I actually forgot something on the first part of this, so I have to go back. And I'm, I'm going to show you this puzzle, but I, but I definitely, I want to show you just enough to show you, hey, this is what this game's about. But not ruin it. So in this locker that's colored differently is a magnet. And the magnet can move um, these, these little panels around, magnetic items. There you go. And here's another cover art collection of Video Olympics, which is essentially uh, Pong and some sports games on the original 2600 cover art. Awesome game. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take the magnet and go back to that room up here. And you use the magnet down here, and there's a key. The key is definitely reminiscent of adventure. So I have the key, and now I can progress to the next floor. But first I have to go up here. Using the bug spray. here grab the cheese so now you have to do another game sequence with a mouse and by doing that you unlock game manuals pretty cool so unlocking video Olympics manual so then you do mini games to and you have you have only uh, you can only fail once out of six so it's pretty challenging the mini games do get mixed up so it's not the same every time so that's nice they typically are lumped into the same uh, mini games that you encounter on the same floor so the 20 mini games of the first floor are the ones that you're gonna encounter here, uh, a random s six of them. And so, yeah, uh, that's pretty cool that it does it that way. That way it kind of mixes it up. Made that one. That one's pretty tricky right there. So, so far, haven't, haven't uh, failed yet. This one, kind of cool, you're avoiding arrows. <laughs> you're moving around. That, that one's pretty tough too. All right, Let's see if I can make it here. Surviving this. You just have to survive 10 seconds. That one's pretty cool. Millipede uh, meets Pong.
So you pass it, you get your game manual, and then you can look at it. Now I'm off to the second floor. But so far I've really enjoyed this game. Um, as each floor has its tricky puzzle elements to it. Um, I can see a puzzle there on the right. Um, and so... Swept up the um, four out of 50 of those dust piles. Oh look, it's Bentley Bear. Pretty cool. And so there's, uh, you know, Bentley, Bentley Bear is pretty much the mascot for Atari, unofficial, I think. But it's really cool they put Bentley in here as he's one of the characters, I think. Uh, widely recognized for Atari from Crystal Castles, for those that aren't aware. Um, awesome arcade game and a great 2600 port. So Pete gets sucked in and then uh, you're eventually going to encounter the second, second boss. After you successfully beat each boss, an arcade machine will appear. If you successfully get through all 20 levels on the arcade machine, then it, then it unlocks for free play. Then, then, you, then you can play it in every time. So here's the second encounter. These are different games, different mashups. First one is combat. So that was cool to have that in here. You just gotta get to the safe area here. Next up, asteroids. Gotta take out the uh, asteroid there and take out the little parts. gonna make it nope so it's nice you have so many chances uh, here's outlaw great 2600 game oh got shot not doing too good here let's see if I can still make it you gotta get you gotta Take out that bottle. Yep, success. Sometimes it's you have to avoid obstacles. Gameplay is going to take a little bit to figure out, especially if you played a lot of classic 2600 games. It does control differently. Um, everything from the inertia to just, uh, but I like the re-imaging of it. I don't have a problem with that. Some people would have rather just play the original 2600 games with their graphics mashed up, but I like that they did this. It's something different. I think it brings it into a more modern take on things. So here's planes from combat. Very cool. But so far, so good. Let's see if I can make it here. Uh, I gotta shoot down enemy tank so take care of that and then you take the tank out awesome shoot the cowboy so it's outlaw meets combat <laughs> oh got shot womp womp if I can still get to the end I have a chance after this so you have the boss following you and you're the tank, so you have to successfully detonate the TNT and it's timed. So you want to hit it just right so then it uh, hits the boss three hits and the boss is defeated. I'm pretty good here. Oh, oh, got it. Awesome. So 
Second boss defeated. And that's what I'm going to show you. I wanted to show you the first 20 minutes of gameplay. What do you think? In the comments below, let me know. This game comes out October 13th. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.